So it's six o'clock. Um, I'd like to open the meeting. Um, are there any adjustments to the agenda at all? Anybody have anything? None? Any public comment? No? Okay. And then um, I would make a motion that we approve the bills to the town. I'll second it. All in favor? All right. <coughs> And then I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes from the last uh, select board meeting on April 25th, 2019. It's actually your turn. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So um, next I'd like to make a motion that we um, enter into executive session um, citing 1 VSA section 313A3 um, for a personnel discussion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And to invite Greg Parker to look. So. Good. So we're going to go into executive session. And so um, one of the things I wanted us uh, to discuss a little bit is, um, is just um, I know Greg has a list of summer projects, and I thought it would be good for him to share that with us. Um, we could, um, um, Louise, are you okay with this? Hearing that out, and then we'll and then we'll get on to mm -hmm. no, the no, next no, cobra. Fine. Okay. Yep. Um, so um, I know, Greg. I know we have fixed one culvert on County Road, and I know you have plans to work your way down right on Greenwood Lake. But. We did another one today. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, we had to obviously had to replace that culvert. One that washed away. That washed the one that washed away. And yeah. we stuck a bigger one in there. Yeah. So you're gonna focus on County Road. Kind the of the excavators there, there yeah. Down yeah. Through. We're going back to uh, Steve's. There's a culvert there, Steve's on Willow Road, the first one that needs to be replaced. Yeah. Uh, Steve for half minutes. Yeah. So we're in the middle. We're going to go both ways, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're just going to start from there. And Using your subs for that as well, for hauling mm -hmm. material back and forth, whatever. Yeah. Well, ditching and stuff, too. Yeah. Yep. Everything comes out well, and that when you put new in. <laughs> yeah, you've got the two subs. Is there times when you need more time with them to get more stuff done? Because it, I'm certainly agreeable if you need more hours to have both the subs on or have them both work longer if it's stuff that you need doing, like clean and brush out of stuff like that that's a right. pain to do. I mean, it never ends. Yeah, that's but you have to put No, but we could. Right. I mean, but yeah. that's really looking for some direction. If you say, well, we could really use some hours right. along this road to pick stuff out of the ditches so Greg could grade the ditches out. Right. You know, that's what I'm agreeable to. I think that needs to happen so that it yeah, helps. You could, yeah, if you could have those two guys just go around with the truck. We're and made, the you know, you're limited more. to 30 hours with them anyway. So. Right, but you, if you need them both for 30 right. hours a week, that's what I'm saying, if that's what you need. Yeah, I think we're saying that, you know, if there so are projects where you could use both of them, yeah, yeah, feel free to... To get you caught up and to get stuff done yeah. that needs to do, and that's, but you didn't get to cover that, but that's what I believe. Right. Mm -hmm. If you yeah, need more time, then I think you should have it. I yeah, the select board is going to That's uh -huh. yep. pretty much always there. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know there's a limit to it, but let us know right. where you can best use it. And right. And how much Brandy will let us know for going so we run out of money, right, Brandy? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, you <laughs> yeah. I, uh, if the subs are going to Just for out, instance, yeah. we've got till July 1st to get another, I don't know, six or seven yards of sand left over from last year that we've got to have in there. Right, so that's why the new budget. Right, that's my point. If you've got stuff that's, you that's just the for instance, which, yeah. Yeah. you know, rainy days you can do that and we've had our share of those. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's going to stop. Yeah, that's, that's just a one example. Yep. yep. So I guess just... But yeah, because we are, this is a late spring. We're probably right. behind. You guys are probably behind. Right. So if you need those extra guys hours in, mm -hmm. I think we probably got, would all agree to it. Mm -hmm. I've got a week of vacation to use before July. Greg's yeah. going on vacation, I think, for two weeks or something. Usually like around the 4th of July, he's gone for two weeks. Yeah. yeah. yeah so, so if you can make use of the subs, make use of them. Yeah. Right. That's what I would say. Yeah. I mean, that would be... The optimum time, obviously, yeah. is while one or the other of us are gone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know one other project, probably the grants and aid for the municipal roads general permit. We're kind of focusing on. Uh, there's three segments on Valley Lake Road, uh, the last steep section before you get down to Kirkland. 
um, Greg and I have been kind of looking at that road inventory, um, which I haven't had much time to, I was supposed to have a five-year plan to the Regional Planning Commission by the end of April, and it's not there yet, but too much school issue stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but that's sort of behind us now. And, but, um, so that's a plan to, to try to um, work on those three segments of road. That road that dug, you know, that bank, and it never really... Oh, down around. Never the really drew. Over. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I'd like to do it just like we did the East Hill armor the whole thing right down through. Yeah, they, it was that cloth, that canvas or yeah. the overlap sacking. Looks like they did something to it, but it didn't right. stay. It, it didn't, didn't stay, it didn't grow, it didn't, it didn't grow. Stay, yeah. Yeah. And then was, sharp I think yeah. if we armor it the same way with that big stone. That, mm -hmm. yep. and, and then the spray, the ditch, basically there was full of snow and ice, so the, you know, the ditch really didn't work during that heavy rain that we yeah, had. so we're thinking about a grant for that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah, we should be able to work on use the grant for that. Yeah. That'd be the, from the sharp corner down, or just even around, around the corner. Yeah, just around it. Yeah, we've done above the well, sharp right, corner. Yeah, all the way down. Yeah, yeah. that was a couple a couple of years ago, or was it last summer? Last no, summer. We, no, it was no, summer two summers ago. Two summers ago. We did the yeah, we did the other side. Already last last summer. So that's kind of in the way to actually work on that um, with the grant program. Um, Any other summer projects that you, I mean, part of the thing of making a plan is that you got to deal with the things that are unplanned too. Right. So Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. You can't really make a, a big plan, but right. that's where we're starting anyways, is right. the county road down through the falls. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of culverts on that yeah, road. I got two that are popping up. <laughs> There's two on the corner. You know, and that but, there are the ledges there. Looks like yeah. there's a couple other. The one where the hole was, that one's gonna go. Looks like they're crushed or something. You know, the collars usually break in the Oh, stuff you're saying the water, water, okay. Stuff goes down in between. Got it. I know another thing that's kind of in the works is to have um, Shauna Clifford and, and um, I think it's Jaron Borg is his name, a V Trans hydrologist, come and look at some of the bigger, older metal culverts that we have. Um, you know, the Bailey Bridge Road is one yep. where the culvert's looking pretty rusty. and um, So they're going to come and spend um, however long it takes and look, looking at some of the older culverts, maybe some of the other metal culverts in the village, just kind of eyeball them for us and give us a sense of, you know, what to think about down the road here. So. Oh, another thing I saw is that big one you had to flood over by the waterfall on Greenwood. There's a great big log jammed in there. When you go by there, you may want to pull that out of there. Where I washed the creek down the road and over the bank at Greenwood Lake, mm -hmm. that culvert. If you look in the yeah. end entrance end, there's a log, great big log jammed in there. Yeah, we'll look at. Mm -hmm. I'm here to show you something. But it's going to take a machine or something. What to get we it found out. today. Uh huh. You got a fit photograph of it? No. We'll oh. go over and look at it. Okay. You're not going to believe this one either. <laughs> That brook doesn't even run at all in the summer. Oh, no, it running. doesn't. It was dry it's last running. Friday. It's it got water in it. All those camps. <laughs> and, <laughs> it, and comes right is down. Is that where the water goes? Yeah. Oh, it, it, it goes there was no water in it last Friday, but there's water in it today. Yeah. It goes into the ledge maybe oh, no 50 kidding. feet there's, before the road. And there's then a two-foot brook up there. Yeah, and it, goes, and it disappears. Down. Yeah, it disappears. And, and then it comes out in the ledge. Yeah, it does. I've seen it. Comes out in the ledge all along that yes. those sardine camps. Yeah, because last Friday it wasn't oh, running at all. That water went yeah. Yeah. You're right. There was a two foot down, wide yeah. brook yeah. running and disappeared. Yeah, it went under a log and it just disappeared. Yeah, if you walk yeah. along the shore, you can see it running into the lake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. one, one of the camp owners showed us that last summer. Yeah, I think. yeah. it's amazing. Well, the guy, the first camp right there. Yeah, yeah. first camp right by there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I saw that one time. I wonder what. I had to talk to him. We have to go across this property to bail that. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's so it back. Because it washes out into the lake. You yeah. can't yeah. get out in there. Mm -hmm. But that's the only time it ever runs. Yeah. Right. yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, we're going up on top of there. See yeah. what's up there? Is there a pond up there? Right, it's, but it's all runoff. It just comes from a bunch of fingers. Yeah. yeah. There's no big pond. No, yeah. The, there's the falls and then it's just a brook. I just made that new brook, you know, right by Morris's driveway or just down from there. Remember, that's all new. That's within the last two years. That brook disappeared. Huh. Remember where it's washing it's out there? That's, the ledge. that's new. That didn't do that five uh, years ago. Uh, huh. I don't know where that came from. That's a 
I don't know what we're going to do there. That's yeah. new. You've seen it. Just like, no, I know. I've been watching two years. Like, I don't know where that was. There's no over. place to put it. No. Mm -hmm. That's on the back no. side of the lake? Yeah, down for Mike house. It just started that, started running about two years ago and hasn't stopped. Mm -hmm. It has to run all the way from there all to the, the culvert. Yeah. It's like 700 yeah, feet. It's a long wow. way. Mm. So There's no place down to, near your place. Man, where Stephen Morris used a Chuck Bachelor's old yep. place. You right can't there. bend it across the Lord's of the because there's no place for it to go. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't even know where the water came from. Never used to run. There's hardly there. enough pitch there. Yeah. Hmm. It could be a spring or something. But yeah, it's just water out of that ledge everywhere. Yeah. And then it freezes and it moves more of it out. Right. Yeah. Shall we move on to sure. Herrick's Cove Road? Or is there any other projects that you're thinking of that you want to share? With? Well, there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Yeah. yeah. But like I said, I mean, right now it's concentrating on the spring stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smoothed up enough so that we can start all that other. Yeah. So, you sent us an email about a Two weeks, a month ago, a while ago. Seven days. Seven okay. days? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, so it's just seen oh, that long. Okay. Yeah. It seems like it was before our last slip one. No. No, it was between. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and you're aware that this issue has come up in the past. I am. Yeah. Um, I just drove down it before our meeting just to look at the road. You know, there it's, um, and you know the issue. I've, and I'm speaking, you know, other select board members, um, you know, I'm speaking mostly for myself and from my memory of when this came up a few years ago is that, you know, it's a private road. And I know that the road crew in the past did at least do a yearly pass on it. And I'm not saying that the town can't do that um, or help in some way, but what we do when we do that is we kind of open a can of worms and that there are a lot of, especially with the lakes and the different camps, there are a lot of private roads. So, you know, you help one area with private road and then you start, mm -hmm. other people start saying, well, hey, you know, you helped them, how come you aren't going to help our road? And, and you know, we've, we've had this discussion about the private roads and the camps and you guys do pay taxes and, you know, you don't get much in return for the money that you, that you give the town. Thanks, uh, yeah. Well, I, personally, I've got no problem helping them out a little bit because we do it for uh -huh. East Long Pond. Right. Yeah, we've done Well, that's a class four road. Nichols Pond Road. Yeah, that's yeah, a class done, four road, yeah, too. We've done some other yeah. little ones for the camps. Yeah, so I know years ago. A, a pass through, a little bit of gravel mm -hmm. for me. It, it's, we obviously can't get out past the lake. Right. No. We yeah. can't yeah. get um, the folks on the road crew that do the rest of the road. Mm -hmm. We maintain that. That's where it really gets smaller. Right. I don't know how far it I drove went. to where, right yeah. where the gate used to, used to be. Yeah. 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 Um, when we do the rest and we have mm -hmm. a couple different folks on the road that have bucket loaders and what mm -hmm. have you and mm -hmm. can dig down and we regrade it and we drop mm -hmm. stuff where we can sometimes people donate some mm -hmm. but from really the rogers camps out is where it's really wide where your machinery can actually get in mm -hmm. and do the grading though that's where the worst part is yeah. we've got the rest of it I'm going to say under control and we try to get donations from mm -hmm. taxpayers and mm -hmm. you know on the road residents yeah. their complaint to me because I do the winter road mm -hmm. is that you know it's really bad and very deep and you drove it today so you mm -hmm. saw that mm -hmm. there's not a lot that we can do because our machinery just really can't handle what needs to be done it needs to be graded right. and once it's graded then we'll probably you know like we always do we always maintain it and mm -hmm. keep it up and does it need more material though to be graded is uh, there enough there I even mean, out it That's yeah it. I'm not it needs material. Yeah. yeah how much materials it need enough to get out of the burn <laughs> You know, so to do the section, three and loads. off the rocks and all that stuff. Yeah, three loads. And the four next loads, thing is where you're going to turn around. There is, there is a spot, I think, to turn around. We couldn't go as far as you mentioned in your email to where Jennifer Harmon used to right, live. Right, that's the road is the what? That's, you know, where, the that's, right where, width that's where it goes down. After that, but all bets are off. But a, you can turn around and the, that's and where all the large know, Greg would be around. the final judge of this, yeah. but I think there is a spot where there's like a pull off. It might be somebody's yeah. driveway. I think the greater. 
it'll probably be a bit of turning and then moving forward. But I have never driven a grader, so I don't know. Um, I, but I think there is a spot there where it could turn around. But I mean, that would be up to the road crew to decide that yeah. if, whether they could. Or, that's the big issue. With, and obviously, they must have at one point in time. They used somewhere. to do the little part, um, kind of amazing, because for those of us who were living there, you know, we, they always gave us a schedule, they were going to be in by 7, 7.30, mm -hmm. and we'd leave and get out of everybody's way that was going to work. Mm -hmm. So that was what, two and a half, three years ago, we would always be getting out of the way. Then they stopped doing the smaller piece, and when they stopped, and I, we could understand this, it's just the width of the grader. I mean, there's really it's, no room. It's not as wide as the grader. The grader is 14 feet wide. Right. right, that's what I mean. So as soon as you <laughs> so get you to, to you know, the Harmon or the Rogers camps, like you, right. you can't get by. You can't get by. So that's why we were... no crown. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, it's... You ever thought about hiring a small grader and you know, put it in our budget for the class for 4 road maintenance? For a well, it's not What's the issue. guy's name down in McAllister? Is it him that has a Doesn't little grader? Call him Bellman is still on his grader? Mm, yeah, yeah, but he wouldn't. I mean, if the Lake Association wants to hire somebody with a smaller grader, that's fine, but I, I'm not, you know, I don't think we're going to hire, this, is, this yeah. is my opinion, I don't think we should be hiring someone to fix a private road. Right. Um, we've got a pair of them. So, you know, so what used to happen in the 90s, uh, Rip used to do some of these roads, right. but they build the, his There's been no rate. material. No, no, I get that. I was just going back to where, the, yeah. where this came from, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, because I know we used to hire him to do a couple of big driveways, and yeah. what they did is they billed you his hourly rate, didn't bill for the machine. Mm -hmm. um, my problem is if you guys are strapped, it would have to be a weekend or evening. Where, <laughs> I don't know, that's... I mean, it's probably until the all the roads are all the ones, all the right, yeah. way off, you know. Yeah, that would be totally yeah. up to grade. Yeah. Well, I mean, it'd have to be something that doesn't come out of my gravel budget either, you know, because Is I'm going to use it so all. Could you guys <laughs> put cost for the material that maybe we could cover? Well, we would not. We would charge you what we would pay. We wouldn't okay. be yeah. making a profit on it. And if you were willing to pay um, the road crew the time, I mean, we could. Yeah. We could. Not charge you the rate for the equipment, okay. I suppose. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what my road guy said: that is, we paid for the time. Mm -hmm. right. Many years we paid for the okay. time. And, and, you know, so it's it cheaper to pay us probably than to hire a private contractor. We right. hired a private contractor to bring in a little bit of fill last year, and it, the you know took the budget, but the budget's not very it's big. Not so. Little young guys on. Uh, that's the dilemma. Is, yeah, that's true. That'd be what it would look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I'd have to go back so, anyway. <laughs> it's like my we don't know if we get there. an answer, but we're kind of Zoom in a pickle because <laughs> we've learned <laughs> that we really can't do hours, that piece. We can't dig down, down deep enough. Time. It's very well packed, and as Greg says, it needs more material on that section of the road, so there's not a lot we are able to do. We're able to figure out the rest. One of our culverts had water compromise the top of it and that got all messed up here in the last three weeks so mm -hmm. we filled that took care of that yeah. Um, but yeah the rest that large part of the road is a hard spot have you been out there to think that your your machinery can get through still up until there I went out uh, oh I don't know probably not quite a quarter of a mile yeah it's not and the last quarter, place I yeah. saw where you could turn around or I thought you could turn around was on the corner. Yes. Right. That's right the spot. Yeah. Is that the spot you're thinking yeah. of? Yeah. Pretty much, because you really. So it's only. I don't think it was a quarter of a mile. No, yeah, no. it's not. No. Mm. Three, it's not even no, a three hundred yard. Yeah. Maybe. I should have. I didn't think the clock. I have a measuring bill if you want to. It <laughs> doesn't really matter. It is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But it's I'm that beginning that's very, very hard packed. And four or five just, loads, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what do you figure a load costs? The town. Any idea? We just saw bills, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> We're in a pile of bills. That really yes. Yeah. It's we could figure that out. And okay. So you can calculate it. Is it three bucks a year? Yeah, would you have to go in and scare right. file and then yeah. put material? No, it's 14 and a quarter. 14 and a quarter. Would 14, you have to go in and rip it up yards. first to break those ruts? Yeah. yeah, the truck, the 10 wheelers hold what, 14 yards? Yeah. yeah. So. So four truckloads. If I had a calculator, I couldn't. Right. But my head is. 
you don't want to watch me do the <laughs> do, do your long math. <laughs> right. So, um, yeah, does that seem years. like something that that the Roku could get to eventually? Yeah, probably. Or a weekend, right. Saturday or something. You uh, folks didn't have probably one. wouldn't be on a weekend. Yeah, because yeah, we need, need to take a weekend, weekend material. No, I right. Need to grab and this one. I don't think you came until either June or July. Uh, right. I don't want to use the word July, but we're gonna yeah. scare them. Okay, we're you know. Yeah, I just don't want to pull them off. No, 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 and we're all, everybody's behind, that, that's the mm -hmm. issue, mm -hmm. you know, um, and some of our folks that have some of their heavy machinery haven't, weren't back, so we were saying, well, let's see if we can get the beginning of that road maintained. Um, Scott didn't tell me, you're talking about Scott McCulloch that lives on the corner of our road? That, well, or McAllister. Well, I didn't even know about Scott. Yeah. This is okay. Willie's. McAllister, yeah. Okay. Does Scott have a little greater? greater? Well, I'm going to chat with him. Ask him if he's got yeah. one. He's right so, there. So, so if we were to bring gravel down there and just dump it, and if Scott McCulloch did have a small grader or something. I don't, yeah, I don't know what he has what there. He has, he's yeah. busy all the I'm time, but I would have to ask him. I mean, we, See, I think he would have already offered to do some of the grading. Because ah, it's his the, road. Well, I yeah, I car. mean, you know, he uses his own driveway, but yeah. he does use the road quite a bit yeah. in the summer for mm -hmm. his events. Our dilemma is we can't do justice with any grading. We don't have anything to grade it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you guys came, then it would be... You nice. didn't even notice. Did you see any phone lines or any of that? Did you notice? I didn't notice any like hanging close to the road or big lens or no. Pass no, that. I didn't. It really did, once you get. I think as you're kind of getting into the trees when you get to that corner that, that we're both thinking of for turning around. It's I'd pretty have open. To, I'd have to look again. Yeah, it's pretty. We, my, you know, we could tailgate it pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so if you want to send me a, an email of what you think it would cost, okay. then we can, you know, talk with them about it. I just think we have to do something about the beginning of the road, and right. they're asking us if any of the guys that mm -hmm. maintain the rest can do anything, and I spoke to them. Yeah. The bucket loader that they have isn't equipped to do right. what it needs to do. Well, I can, I can figure out the gravel part. Okay. Um, yeah, it just the bill should be right in there. I'd use yeah. an inch and a half, I yeah. think, Michael, because okay. it would stay around longer. Right. Inch and a half stone. And then um, Greg can give me a you know ballpark figure yeah. of hours. And, um, if you can even get the grader in there to do right. it to right. start with, because yeah, right. it is pretty wide. You may I'll, end up I'll, have, I'll have to look again. We can get in there. It's a pretty good road until you, until you start getting to the camp. You're not able to yeah. do yeah. anything if there's no material, number one, and right. then you can't crown it or anything. Yeah. Yeah, you won't be able to crown it. Yeah. You've, got to, you've got to pitch it one way. Uh, my guess is it probably won't be until sometime in June if you're lucky. Or a smaller machine, yeah. you could crown it and you know, get right. it done. Yeah, we have a hard enough time in the winter. We're all talking about finding somebody who has a large snow blower. Yeah, that'd be nice. What's really <laughs> Have you got a snow blower? <laughs> if it's soft, I, I yeah, I used one this winter. But a lot of my driveway in the lawn, I had to put back. Well, that's our Until it freezes. that's our problem. Yeah. Is I don't really think you can live on the lake full time, not on our road anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what's happening. Not beyond that. We don't spot. plow at all, mind you, but we plow um, probably close to a mile. We've we go way out, We're right in the middle on the water side, down to the far yeah. and once you drive around that far corner and go to the narrow, it's probably a mile in. People that live there all yep. the way. Yeah, we have the, one person that's the, live, yeah. that lives over there, and mm -hmm. then the rest of us live where the camps start. Mm -hmm. and, um, yeah, the more you know, snow there is, the well, you know, harder and harder it is to move it. Yeah, we, once you know, you up. pay a bucket loader to mm -hmm. come and move it all, and you can't like. It's very difficult to move. You can't move it towards the water. No. Yeah. There's just really very little room. And so clearly what should happen is the road should probably truncate right there after the first two camps. You can get in and out very easily at the mm -hmm. beginning. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it's very, very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we've had fire and rescue and everyone gets in and it's not a big deal. But we're past that I think that's very reasonable if that's something that you guys can figure out and yeah, I'll, I can I'll get it back it. with them. And I'll try to okay. send you, this week I will send yeah. a reply. You could give us an estimate of how long you think yeah. it would take yeah. to grade it. 
Yeah, yeah, really take nice. long if we've got no material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was bringing in the stuff that was the hard time before as well, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that would be very helpful. If we do end up doing that at some point, you want to make sure you tell everybody, don't just keep traveling two lanes. Set over and pack, around, pack yeah. the whole road down. So the it wicked stays people tight. do that. <laughs> <laughs> but stay in the you know, that, Not so much in the summer. <laughs> that's, that's a problem, yeah. though, you yeah. know, when it comes to road maintenance, because you're not going to be able to put a crown on it. Yes, you know? yes, absolutely. So the water is yeah. going to lay in those trenches and it's yeah. going to yeah. cause you problems in the future. Yes, and, and we've had that since we haven't been able to maintain that beginning part. That's kind of how this has probably all started and gotten right. much worse. Because once you folks stop, you know, grading it really well, mm -hmm. that's when I went to yeah. hell after that. Yeah. We've had someone come in on one side of the road and do some cutting. And so it's sort of, I don't... I would say to you, it let the sun in, dries better, right, right. Mm -hmm. resumes, makes you know. Makes the road harder. Yeah, makes it much, much better, and that was very helpful. It wasn't their intent, I'm sure, but um, it, it worked out really well for us. And so we've tried to, you know, keep that maintained and cut stuff back to let the sun in, because that's really how it hardens up for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, that's very reasonable, okay. if you Thanks. can see what can work, and we didn't expect it to be for quite a while, because mm -hmm. uh, can't do anything at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where I'm at, anyway, is it's just the material, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm sure. We pay to have material brought in at other places, so yeah. Yes. It's it's tra tracked away and blown Four away. And, yeah. You know, once you're starting to bring up rocks and stuff against you, you're fighting yourself. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you very right. much. So I'll let you get on to the. Okay. All right. As stimulating as it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Fun that anyone should love to have. Take care. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to share with you some more information about this Kingsbury Branch Stormwater Master Plan. And the survey that was done. Um, we looks like we are getting the grant um, to do the design work this summer. Mm -hmm. So um, you have electronic copies of these put forward. Uh, this is some paper copy stuff that was given to me at the last meeting I went to. But I think um, let me find out. If, I don't know if I have it or not. Okay. To be All honest right. with you, um, I did forward. Um, I think this is probably. Um, I forwarded to both of you the, um, the last thing that came from Pam to Andrea from the Regional Planning Commission announced where she had the email about the grant and then there were those three, three different links. Yep. One of the links has like 30 to 40 files of different uh, information that they've gathered and this is probably in there. Um, but this was, um, this you have seen. Um, these were those sheets that came up um, in the beginning, um, and or you may not have seen them. I know Brian saw them at one point was yeah. working on this, um, but these are these are the kind of the plans for the sites in the village. Um, so there's the school, there is the fire station, fire department annex building. Um, and then this is the um, between the fire station and the post office, and this is over on Church Street, which I'm just going to set aside because that's not really. We are going to get to that um, very soon, I don't think. Hopefully, sometime down the road. But these are the three that I'm kind of tried to focus on, um, and this is this is why I'm you know also kind of wanting to wait on the paving because all three of these involve. Um, well, these, these two do not, actually. This is the uh, school parking lot, and the plan there is to put in um, kind of like a swamp catch basin. Have um, the parking lot slope yeah, that way. Yeah, slope that way, and there will be a couple of tiers, so, and it would also be taking water coming down from Valley Lake Road. Um, there would be a culvert coming through into it, so there would be one level, um, and then that would run into a lower level, which would be the swamp, and then Anything running over that would run down through a culvert across and into this catch basin on the other, you know, kind of right behind um, the annex building. Um, at least that was my initial thought that it was going to be behind the annex building. Um, 
And now it looks like they might be thinking, you know, right where that drive is mm -hmm. beside the food show. Yeah. Um, so I need to clarify, <coughs> clarify that. But so this would be this is kind of what this would look like. Um, little kind of rocky, stony, marshy looking gravel wetland area. It's 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 a basically a catch basin to catch water. Water some of the water would um, filtrate into the soil. The excess in a heavy flow would spill over and run down into a special catch basin. This is kind of a new state-of-the-art thing that seems to be happening, um, as opposed to the big stone pools that, that we, you know, we have a few of those in the village now also. But, so this would um, catch the, the runoff and the erosion, um, and then I'm not quite exactly sure how it works, but there's a series of loops and pipes in there so the water is able to run out but the the uh, gravel and silt and everything else um, uh, filters out kind of falls out in these basins how do you deal with it once it fills up with silt you have to pump it out yeah so um, so somebody and the, these are just starting to happen around the state um, some entrepreneur will hopefully it has already started a business with a special it's basically like a, sometimes in the cities you see the manhole cover kind of sewer pump out things that's what's gonna that's what will have to happen or whether and it's hard to say how often that will happen um, hopefully not ten times a year but um, and then the so the water again would filtrate out into the soil um, and, uh, and I don't think there's any kind of overflow that would eventually go into the Kingsbury Bridge. You know, back in here, the water table would dig down two or three feet here right in the water table. Yeah, yeah. So this, this, this type of catch basin is also proposed for between the post office and the fire station, pretty much right where I think on the southern side of that swale that leads water down into the, that goes into the Kingsbury Bridge. There's a field and septic systems over there somewhere Is it? Too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I guess we... Because we have a septic here and then theirs is out in here. Okay, so I think where they're proposing, I think they, they should have done their research to know where those leach fields are. I, I can't imagine that they didn't, but the proposal is to put it kind of right where it's paved now, kind of in the park, that parking area. And these are, these are subsurface, so once they're in, um, you know, you, there's like a manhole cover. That's basically all there is that you would see, like like in a city or something. Um, so these two, these two are covered in the design um, grant that we have received. Um, this one is not. Um, so the grant is for the design of this right now. Yes, yeah, the full uh, professional design. Yeah, that's what the grant's for. And then, of course, we would use that design to go for a grant um, next. So the actual implementation of the work would probably happen next summer. Best case scenario. I mean, that's my, that's my hope. And I'm hoping that we could also, um, this would, we could fund this through a Better Roads grant, um, which uh, those grants don't get submitted until the fall. So whether, um, you know, that design could happen early next summer um, and then um, be implemented later in the summer um, I don't know that's this this one is a more a big question mark right at the moment about the time frame for doing it um, and these you know I think it is true that they are pretty much off the Valley Lake Road so you know if we wanted to pave that part of Valley Lake Road um, this summer, I don't see why we couldn't. The only thing I would worry about is that if there's heavy equipment, like an excavator coming in, because they're going to have to dig a pretty good-sized pit to do this. Yeah. What would that? They're going to have to change all the grades here. Yeah. That's really. Yeah. Yeah. That swale would probably disappear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do they say in the best management practice for this? I got question marks about those filter bits. <laughs> Yeah. Because they're just going to fill up with the... Because one of the problems I can see is right now we're washing all the sediment off this. Mm -hmm. And that would have to change. We couldn't do it anymore. You wouldn't want to wash that all in. They'd have to go back to Out sweeping that parking lot. Yep. Like we did uh, for the trucks yeah. years ago. Yeah. Because of the sand and all that that builds mm -hmm. up over the winter. So mm -hmm. that's an additional expense you're going to have to, a lot of sand. to yeah. look at. Because yeah. I wouldn't want to... You wouldn't want to just wash it in that on purpose. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because now it just goes in the brook. But apparently mm -hmm. you don't want that. 
Yeah, I mean, if you look, have you looked behind the building at the corner now? The way yeah, you're yeah, yeah, we're gonna have a yeah. clean up day, and that tree's got to come down, yeah. and we're gonna clean yeah. all that up. Yeah, there's quite a bit that yeah. eroded there from from just the melting. Um, yeah, so that's yeah, that's something that they probably aren't aware of um, when they designed this. Because um, you'd have to go back to sweeping. Like they, one point they hired a street sweeper, at another point the road crew was sweeping it by hand, and then they had a little pushy thing yeah, they used to thing. sweep with. I remember years right. ago. Yep. And then we went back to washing it again, mm -hmm. which works the best, but the yeah. problem is that it, you definitely wouldn't want to wash that stuff into the filter bed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, something else. I, may, I don't think there's something to think about. Yeah, no. There was a lot of material, but it was probably two big buckets of, and they brought the loader over mm -hmm. of sand and whatnot. Sand, and got, yeah. Okay. They collected in there. <laughs> Okay, I'll let them know that and see what they. Yeah, because I, I, you know, that as soon as you mentioned, I was like, "Well, that's going to be a problem." Because like, now that you're salting it, there's a lot less on there than there used to be, but there's still quite a bit. Still quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, so she's saying. <coughs> well, filling. sometimes. I don't know if she ever did. Oh, they used to. Yeah, yeah. somebody yeah. sanded because yeah. there was a ton of sand here. Mm -hmm. uh, here and then all down through here was uh -huh. all sand. Yeah. Where you guys were salting, there wasn't only right. whatever yeah. cars no brought sand. in. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we, you you guys salted. Because right. yeah. so that's reduced it a lot, but there was still a lot. Yeah. I guess one thing that we could request from the post office is that they salt that instead of sanding it. Once, you know, once this thing is... Yeah, because once this happens, this is all going to have to be repaved. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the woman from the Regional Planning Commission told me that it would be better to... If you have... Like with a VTrans grant or any of the grants for the implementing, if there's pavement there that has to be removed in order to put these in, then the grant will pay for the repaving. If there's no pavement... So they would pay for part of it. Because basically yeah. if you're going to redo that, that would have to be dug up all the way back to here to get that slope out yeah. of there. Yeah, most of the grants are 80% um, state that and then That's right now is right us. here. There's a dip yep. in front of right the building. That's all would have to come out. Yep. yep. If you wanted it to drain to your new, yeah. you know, it would be a revamp of the whole parking yeah. lot. Yeah. So that segues into our, do we pave the town parking lot? We're going to have to do something right. with the town parking lot this year because it's mm -hmm. where we patch that hole with the stay mat. That we, when we were there cleaning it up, the lower mm -hmm. was there, we put some of that stay mat we scraped up in there and it's holding, but mm -hmm. next to it's all breaking out because it's yeah. just so busted up. And there's a pretty good break. Kind yeah, of right it's along breaking along all the way there. across there. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we could try to keep it patched. Um, you know, I wish I had a better sense of the timeline on this, but... Um, Hopefully I will, uh, maybe in the, another few meetings down the road. Well, we can, again, I don't have an issue with Wakes because we have issues. We may be renovating this building. And right. I hate to, I'm okay, torn, so you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, we want to screw with the parking lot before we do that. Right. But I don't know what to do with the with the holes. The holes right, well, we'll, we'll obviously we'll try to, we'll yeah. to fix those somehow. You don't feel like patching pavement all summer, right? No, we usually do. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, one it's thing. Trying to avoid it's that. Yeah. To the town. yeah. One thing Greg mentioned is that you know that first patch was cold patch, and we could try hot patch, hot patch and see how if that, or maybe just you could go get a truck loader so that hot pavement, right? Mm -hmm. You'd have to have a roller or something. I don't think about it. I'd have to check into it because we don't want pavement in our bodies because they get chains chain in it. Yeah. Uh -huh, right. Yeah. So. Or we could have someone bring it or have someone do it. That would be my recommendation is that we, even if you pay somebody. Might be able to do it in the 550 mm -hmm. if it's right. <laughs> we can't. We could, hire, you know, could we hire somebody to come and just patch right. those holes? Yeah, yeah. You know, cut the edges and mm -hmm. dig it down yep. and patch them. Yep. And we Maybe could that's use, what we should use. do this year. Yep. Maybe that might make, make the most sense. Then you don't have to figure that out. It does sound like a good, a good idea. You don't have a roller either, right? Yeah. Yep. And we can use money for from our dating for his shoes, he can dance. So when the time comes, we do have enough money in our paving fund to do this. Okay. This project. And that would be the whole because you're basically do this right. apron all the way across here. Yeah. He's this all of this would have to be done. The right of way out here is breaking up, but that's in the state right away. Right, yeah, that's their that's that's their problem. <laughs> But where we drilled holes from the thing here years mm -hmm. ago, that's breaking up. Mm -hmm. So yeah. maybe one of us should contact a company to see what it would cost to just patch those holes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get, have get, that on, to get on the a work list. Yeah. yeah. Do you know of some companies that we could contact? 
Just small big, yeah, they're just small. Okay. I just just I don't pavement. mind chasing that. Okay, down. go ahead. Yeah, why don't you please small do that? Pavement. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. even at all speed. Yeah, they do little jobs. Okay. Because they would have the right equipment. Again, this is one of those things. If you don't have the right equipment, it can be a formal job if you have the right equipment. Yeah. yeah. So let yeah, so let's try to do a patch job and Okay. And uh, I'll have to try to get some pricing before the next mm -hmm. meeting. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so that's pretty much, I just wanted to give you guys a better sense of what's going to be happening eventually, hopefully. Um, and you know, the, you know my, my feeling is, is that this is stuff that's being imposed on us by the state. Yeah. So um, until they help us pay for it, and, and, and until they basically... Yeah, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it unless, unless we get um, financial help to do it. I know this. at some point when we're over here, we got to dig this some more because it filled back in, but we can yeah. do that yeah, someday we can, when you're over there. We can keep on scraping that down. And, you know, when, when they come to do the design this summer, I want, you know, I don't want them just to focus on this and that. I want them to solve the problem. All of this, yeah. yeah. Um, so hopefully the... Because the when they do pave this, I want them to pave all this yep. too and all. We'll mm -hmm. figure out how we're going to pay for our part yeah. of it, but it makes yeah. the sense to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it'll make that winter maintenance easier. You could solve that instead of because mm -hmm. it builds up so thick with ice. Yeah. Last year, it got to where the truck was dragging on the way out the door. I mean, a ten foot door. Mm -hmm. Last it year was an it was awful year. It was yeah. Awful. yeah. It's crazy. And I could try to find. I'm pretty sure in one of those files um, that this is. That um, this information that I was given you know, a month or so ago is there. Um, These things scare me because I'm just afraid they're going to fill up with right. salt. And you'll be or not salt, but sand and salt, and you'll be digging them up in five years mm -hmm. or less. Or yeah. less. Yeah. yeah. Well, here this one by the annex, um, that one should be pretty good because, th in theory, um, this system and you we know we should have gotten rid of we should have gotten of it, rid of yeah. a lot of it up there because um, this won't be a cheap project regrading that whole parking right. lot yep and digging this thing yeah that's a hill and now it's, it it's a hill yeah it's a yeah. bank yeah definitely yeah, a steep progressively yeah. steeper yeah definitely drops right off yeah. they're talking about making it a catch pond yeah pretty much at the base of the have hill to have a pipe that lets it yeah. They go. They they wouldn't be cutting away that bank. There, if you if you go there by the parking lot, there is kind of a wet, swampy oh, okay. area at the at the bottom of that that steep drop off, and that's where they're thinking of putting that. And then there would be a kind of a trench, you know, grass trench through the to make all this water so that all of this would go there. Try to make this water go here before yep. it runs down. There. Before it runs down there. So there's, I mean, obviously there's going to be some. And that, that is the unknown, how, you know, how... Because they're so new, I just wonder if you're going to do the guinea pig. Well, there, there, I'm sure, I think there are some in other other places, and it would be interesting to... Does, the question is, is it in a paved area, is it in a, is this one right. in an all dirt? I'm so you know, steal it. Right. See what it looks like. Yeah. It's just, it looks like a crazy... Yeah, like those sewer ones that the stuff comes in and goes right. down the sides. Yeah. I will ask. Is it, you know, high, ask you know, high volume. Would be, this this would get a lot of a lot of silt in it every yeah. year. Yeah. I will ask. Um, this would get less. Pam to Andrea, if she knows of some of these that are recited, and we can. Because sometimes I've seen them design stuff that they look at it. Oh, whoa! We didn't right. make it <laughs> Sorry, you got to put another one in. Looks good on yeah. paper. There's dirt out here. It's <laughs> not all pavement. Right. Yeah. 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 The new one costs twice as much as the other one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Looks like kind of like your beaver battle, you yeah. know. Sort of. Yeah, maybe it could be a new, a new beaver color. solution. <laughs> that would really fool them. <laughs> For a couple of weeks anyway. Okay. And, um, you know, so the quotes on the paving... Um, for the Valley Lake Road section, that was about twenty-one thousand dollars, and to pay from the corner all the way up to the school. To the school, yeah. yeah. And then the quote for what I'll call the Village Street, you know, in front Village of Square is what it's called. Village Square, okay. Square. For the Village Square is about nineteen thousand. Okay. So it'd be about, and that's all on our dime because um, it's except not, what they dig up for the project. Right, that little bit we could we could get reimbursed for. Yeah, we'll stretch it as much as possible. Yeah. yeah. So again, I think if, if if we think that I think we need. To try to do it next summer, mm -hmm. if possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my goal too. It doesn't make a lot of sense to spend a lot of money patching and then right. 
Definitely. Yeah, break up and do it again next year, but yep. we should patch it. Yep. That's the goal that I have too, and I, I hope that okay. so we should all get the goal for patching it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because again, yep. the morphing into the if the firehouse projects happen, mm -hmm. that yep. would make sense to wait too. Yep. Okay. So that's pretty much it on the for the town highway report. Um, we'll move on to the town treasurer, and we're actually. Well, we had a schedule. Well, that's five minutes slow, so we're ten minutes behind. And you don't need to stay any longer. Unless you really want to. I'm out of here. here. Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you for coming, Greg. Yeah. 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 See you later. Yeah. Have a good evening, everybody. Yeah. So that's that grand note for her. How? What are those things that you're talking about? Underground pipes? I don't know what they're called. It's like a leach field for for runoff. A leach field. Because they don't want the silty runoff going into the brook and into the watershed. So somehow it's supposed to collect it all. But it's like a pipe, right? Yeah, you can show them here. There, see, see. It looks like a leach field, but my concern is if we fill it up with sand. Is it like what they did at the Dollar General, like in Hardwick? Well, most of those have sediment ponds. That then there's a pipe, and the water fills up, and a little bit of run in, but the rest of it settles out. But this, as you look, it's a leach field underground. It somehow is going maybe it collapsed. I don't know. I'd be interested. We yeah, somehow, hopefully by the time we have to look at it, there's one we can go look at and right. talk to somebody. Yeah. I, I will ask. Um, I, I'm sure there is a place we could go and look. Just sometimes they we might be putting it on more of a. Test than they did. Yeah, yeah no, I, there are other. They're definitely got to be cleaned at some yeah. point. Yeah, they do have to be cleaned. Yeah. Thank you. I'll find out if there, where there are some in operation, but they are they are pretty new. Um, I will. I know that for sure. Balance sheet, financial statements, and due to do from mm -hmm. is. The last page. I did a twenty thousand dollar money market transfer today to the general fund mm -hmm. to cover expenses. Um, so over the past three weeks, um, on cash receipts, I have taken in one thousand fifty four dollars and seventy cents in variety um, fleet permits. Um, Certificate, certified copies, dog licenses, um, marriage license, vault fees, zoning permits. Uh, for delinquencies, Ron has handed in $7,130.37 in the last three weeks. Um, That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's kind of yeah. chipping away at that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we're down to sixty-six thousand nine hundred eighty-two dollars and sixty-two cents. In delinquencies. Yep. Yeah. And we just received another prepaid tonight. Yeah. Mm. Um. Questions. It's a lot to kind of. Yeah, it's hard to really. You know, just kind of take in. Uh, this is what I mean just before I go to bed. Right. Right. Nothing personal. <laughs> um, so I have good news. Well, once you're viewing, okay. Sure. Viewing sure. Well, yeah, I'll save. Yeah, we'll save news. it for later. Give news? us some good news. news. <laughs> <laughs> I have somebody who wants to do the mowing. Aha! Uh -huh. oh, the has cemetery. Has liability oh, wow. insurance. Hey, that's on our agenda. He viewed. It is. He yeah. viewed all locations today. Mm -hmm. Um. It's Derek Richardson from mm -hmm. Hardwick. Mm -hmm. So he has liability coverage. I think he's going to be doing it himself. He, um, so I re, retweaked the contract because mm -hmm. it was for a three year. So mm -hmm. I put it out a year. Yeah, we won't do that again. That was a mistake. Um, I added the hall around the hall and mm -hmm. the median strip. Mm -hmm making it five locations for the town, mm -hmm. four locations for the town, excuse mm -hmm. me, yeah. five cemeteries, mm -hmm. uh, and then clean up. Mm -hmm. And um, so he had balanced me a back a description, but I had forgot and I had left out, or didn't say the town hall, around the town hall, and then mm -hmm. that median strip. So mm -hmm. I did bounce back. And um, so he's going to be coming in tomorrow 
um, mm -hmm. to do the paperwork. Okay, great. And get it on the roll. Thank you very much. So I'm super excited. What was his total bid? Six fifty. That's all locations. Um, and that's where I need to tweak. Okay, no, I get it. Sounds like he's the only player, so. Yeah. He wins. He wins. <clears throat> Start mulling because it's growing. You can hear the grass growing this weekend. Um, so this is what he bounced back, but of course this was before I told him about the hall and that other yeah. strip. Although that'll be more. more so he'll do the clean up, just the raking, and yes. Okay, that yep. needed, I was going to ask you about that. So I just wanted to make sure he saw mulling. all the locations, um, mm -hmm. and he knew where the hall was and then the strip. So um, he'll be adding two more locations or around the hall and then that mm -hmm. strip. Um, to 650. Okay. Could you let Patty Garbeck know this? Do you have a? Oh yeah. Because I kind of lit a fire under her the, that the cemetery commission needed to find somebody. Um, to, but sounds like so he's got something we can deal with good. then. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's in keeping with what we had before. Just the reasonably. I don't know what the prices were before. Jamie's was. Um, five fifty for the five cemeteries, right, we've added a and then more. Yeah. and then mm -hmm. it was fifty for the town hall, twenty five for here, and, um, and so yeah, it's pretty yeah. consistent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then obviously the raking needed to be done, so the cleanups. Yeah, yeah. 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 I yeah. saw there's a, where all the snow sat. It's a mess. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's great. I wrote to him today, and he immediately popped down, checked out the locations, and then mm -hmm. sealing the deal because I wanted to show something tonight to get mm -hmm. this on the roll because we are way behind schedule. Right. Yeah. So Especially with the memorial. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yep. So once I get the contract signed, which I tweet that, he's gonna revise his and then I'll get the you know the business card, the certificate of insurance, get him to do an I nine and the non employee workers agreement signature and I'm good for my audit. Good. Do we have to vote to do that as a cemetery commission thing? It's they usually. Um, they usually choose. They usually choose, and then we. Okay. Vote. So. So what I'll do is forward everything to Patty and make sure that. Okay. And to get Richard, it going I, it's time. Maybe yeah. I'll have Richard pop down while he's here doing okay. paperwork tomorrow, yeah. and that way, um, he okay. can talk with him. Because I'm not sure how much Richard has been communicating with the rest of the cemetery commission that was part of the. But I know Patty has tried to contact everybody. It is on the commission, and they were going to meet and try to figure out who to, they were looking at. Somebody in Callis, I guess, who does the Callis more. But we, I think, problem solved. Let's move forward. Yeah. Right? And I think you know we we basically what we approve is the expenditure of the money. So yeah, we could do that tonight. It gets signed off by Richard. Yeah. Um, but yeah. What we had tried to do in the past, um, just to catch you up on, you know. We started putting out an RFP and getting bids when the uh, our procurement policy, well, the new procurement policy that we had, um, and the first year that we did it, the select board kind of did it, and, and you know we kind of took it out of the hands of the cemetery commission, and that sort of didn't feel right that they, you know, they should be involved. And part of it was, it, it was then on the audits, the 1099s, mm -hmm. the process that, that um, they have to they have to provide liability insurance. Correct. And workers and comp and all that stuff in the case they break something. So it was it was kind of us stepping in because then it fall back on me. Right. And that's a requirement the, from the L C T that right. insurance, our insurance doesn't cover it. Yeah. So what we've done the last few years is that the bids come in, the cemetery commission looks at them, makes the decision, and then we approve the expenditure in the select board. So that's um, and there's only one person to decide on, so there right. shouldn't be too much debate. No. So I think we can. I think we can approve. Safely get it started. Yeah. Yep. Just so it's it's Agreed. on its way. Yeah. So I would make a motion that we um, go with Derek Richardson to do both the cemetery mowing and the town mowing for the summer of 2000. And the cleanup, right? And the cleanup. Yes. Right. Yeah. Second. Yeah. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 So at some point, once he signs the contract, I will come and get the board's signature. Okay. Um, and while we're signing, could you sign the minutes? Well, I, I've stolen Brandy's pen. All right, that one. Oops. Thank you. Watch your pen back. Thank you. 
Oh, oh yes. yes. We can give those to <laughs> Diana. It one. was a freebie, but I love it. I stole this from the office today. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, I borrowed it from the office. Right? <laughs> Careful what you see on camera. <laughs> That's okay, they know it's in my pocket. You'll go with me tomorrow to work. <laughs> awesome. Great, and thanks again for solving this problem. Oh, yeah. 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 I was yeah, getting a little a nervous getting closer to Memorial Weekend, but I didn't want yeah. people coming to visit and then it just being a mess. So, yeah. Yeah. so that was so for, for Diana. Diana. Yeah. All righty. I'm all set. Okay. There's no questions. Don't have any at the moment. Perfect. No. No. Good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> So, Diana, we're ready for a town clerk's report. Okay. And we also, cemetery and town knowing is done on the did it. We did it, yeah. So. Did we catch up yet? Uh, I don't, it's hard to tell on that clock, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> funny after. Yeah, we're doing okay. I was okay. saying, yeah, perfect. Behind, awesome. not too bad. Yeah, yeah, really quick. We're in the ballpark. Oh, I'm, you gave me for five minutes anyway, so thank you for that. Okay. I'll hurry. <laughs> well, you've been very brief lately, so. Yeah, right. No, really. I'm still trying to get caught up from the first two or three months of the year, getting ready for town meeting and all that. Another mm -hmm. two or three hours committed to recording. I should be all better. I've also. Mm -hmm. Now I have to write minutes for the school district, but I hopefully it will only be that one meeting and then we'll be done with right. that. Mm -hmm. And I've also volunteered to do um, minutes and draft findings for the Board of Adjustment because uh -huh. a couple of years ago Mary wanted to quit because there was no that. staff. So right. we got Jennifer to do mm -hmm. it and she did it for a year or so and then mm -hmm. she was gone. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I said I would do that. So is that something that Laura might be interested in? I don't think she's, well, I mean, she looks good at doing minutes, but right. I'm not sure if she would know how to write the legal decisions, the findings of fact, and things oh, like right. that. Oh, right, that would be more Which a I'm zoning administrator kind of, or lister kind of thing. I'm kind of experienced at that. Okay, all right. So, um, so... On Thursday this week, Laura and I are both going to spend two hours in the afternoon on um, training on a uh, Skype thing <coughs> for the new vital records law, which is coming into effect mm -hmm. July 1st and mm -hmm. involves a lot of changes from what I understand. It's going to be <coughs> a lot more difficult to give, give out birth certificates and things like that. Mm -hmm. it's going to be Anyways, we're going to hopefully learn about that on Thursday. Two hours. It'll be boring. <laughs> have to bring in the baby, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we require people to bring in their dogs to get licensed. <laughs> the uh, Washington County Mental Health contacted me. They want to come here and wow. do a, a evening presentation, mental health crisis and services in Washington County. What do we have? What do we need? did one in Waterbury um, a while ago and all I really did was arrange for the town hall. I thought that would be a good place. They want to do something probably June 13th. Oh, so it's not coming to a select board meeting, it's more right, it's just kind a of public. a town info. Right. Yeah, right. So what's the date again? They asked for June 13th if they can get the people that they want for their panel, otherwise they were, their alternative date was June 6th. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard a confirmation. I had uh, Robin put them both on her okay. calendar, pencil them in on her calendar. You know, when you said that, it just reminded me, um, I'm trying to think of the woman's name and the organization that's based in Hardwick that does mm. um, conflict resolution. That's and right. She wanted to She come. wanted to come and meet with us. Um, so mm -hmm. I'm just going to... Um, I told her t to wait until... But I haven't gotten back to her now. I think we could deal with her... No. Mm -hmm. Carol Plant. Carol Plant, thank you very much. <laughs> yep. Yep, so I will contact her. Yeah. The school stuff is sort of almost behind us. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so contact almost her. Behind us. <laughs> you guys missed a meeting last week, a big budget meeting. Good. The I last did, one we're going to have. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I was in my player in a dispatch meeting. It was way uh, more exciting. I'm sure. 
Yeah. Well, 32 people showed up to wow. vote on the budget that will probably have a shelf life of two weeks. Two weeks, right. And then we'll vote again on um, the 28th, and that'll be an all day session at the town hall. Um, That's a Australian ballot. Yeah. Yeah. There is a information meeting, though. That That's the 21st. 21st. Yeah. yeah, the 21st. At the Hardwood Gym. Mm -hmm. At, I don't know what time, 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Yeah. So, yeah, the uh, people in the, the one meeting that we had in, Hard, in Hardwick where the school board had sent out a individual mailing to everybody mm -hmm. on their checklist, mm -hmm. a lot of people from Hardwick showed up, and that was the night when they voted to have Australian ballot for the budget and Australian ballot for the elections mm -hmm. in the future. So yeah. that'll be different. Mm -hmm. yeah. We won't have much uh, to talk about. <laughs> much chance to discuss this. Unless people, well, you know, nobody goes to the Hazen meeting. Mm -hmm. When we used to have Australian ballots for the Hazen vote, we'd have it here and we might get 40 people. Right, we never had it's the most, you know, the biggest part of our budget and people just felt totally disengaged and I think it's probably going to be the same way now with the with the elementary union because it's good, we're going from one million budget to a seven dollar seven million dollar budget. Mm -hmm. What could go wrong, right? Mm -hmm. What could go wrong? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you ask oh, questions and then you know, anyways. You think everybody just called me to see that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so any <clears throat> questions on town clerk business? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. So moving on to the old Woodbury store, store project. Uh -huh. Not much to report there. I emailed okay. Lauren last week to say, you know, we, as far as I know, we've got everything. It's Thank been you. like three weeks since mm -hmm. we submitted the last piece of information. Mm -hmm. And uh, has she submitted it to FEMA? Oh. Yeah, I haven't heard. I haven't heard back. Okay, on her right. Yeah. So. Um, I see they were surveying. Did they finish that survey? Oh God, yeah. That survey has been so long and so and stuff, difficult. So what I was going to say to you is that if you have to do a survey, you should hire them because. Well, yeah, that's what I want to know where they drove their pins. Cause yeah, but the, because they researched that whole corner. Because I don't think the lines on the tax map are right. Oh, probably not. So I was hoping they would help with that, and we may end up having to hire them. To yeah, so that would make sense, so. because she's good, yeah. Because I know they had to measure from the one line on yeah, our side all the way yeah. across. They've done one. Well, did they drive pins, did you know, where they thought? Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't seen them yet. I was going to go look at them. but Because I know there's flags yeah. in the middle of our lawn, yeah. but I don't think those are the pins. No. No, I noticed a flag over behind the... The fire's next to the town hall. The, oh, the yeah. yeah. There's flags across the lawn, and I'm like, oh, that isn't the line, but there must be... Yeah, there's no line there, but I don't, somehow... I don't know if they... How they I don't know. Anyway. I think I'll survey. Yeah. yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> it looks like they measured across, because the, the fire side, that has pins, real real property marker oh. pins, so mm. I'm guessing they had to work their way across. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm guessing. Yeah, they were having trouble with Brandy's lot, yeah, because all those are just okay. yeah. in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, the title search is done. I've just asked the, the attorney, our attorney, you know, what, who prepares the closing documents? Mm -hmm. Is it our attorney or the uh, seller's attorney? And right. said that, that some of us should need to be prepared by the seller's attorney and then she has to do something and then at the last minute they have to update the title like anything's going to change mm -hmm. but they have to do that anyways and yeah. so we got a lot of things ready to go as soon as we get that letter mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. well hopefully we'll find out that sometime soon that whether FEMA has it or not right and, and then right. It's, yeah and, uh, the only news I mean the only good thing that she said at one point was that FEMA was anxious to get this off their list because it's one of their last projects You're from Irene money. Tell them to get off their dead horse and get yeah, rid of it. Really. Well, yeah, really. Yeah. More than glad to. <laughs> They're the holdup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell. No, I won't. Yeah, just tell, <laughs> tell Paul said that. Yeah. It'll help. <laughs> So actually, while you're here, Diana, yeah. the next thing on the agenda, um, Ron mentioned to me that the listers have a new oh, extension it's, date. It's in your. It's in the. Uh, <coughs> in your folder on there. 
So apparently there have been um, some new conditions for current land that's in current use. That, so the listers have kind of have to redo um, those different parcels. Um, they have to come up per, I don't like some kind of per parcel. This is my understanding. From so we got to approve an extension so they have time to do exactly. it. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Like every so year they need an is. extension or yeah. sometimes two extensions, but this year they so, yeah. got a new lister and yeah. so all I'll this just, current use stuff. I yeah. don't understand what it is, but it's making Ron very frustrated. Yeah. So I'll just read what Ron <laughs> wrote here. I'm shocked by this. <laughs> Pursuant to the provisions of 32 VSA section 4342, we are asking the Woodbury Select Board and Property and Property Evaluation and Review to ap approve an extension of time to complete 2019 Town of Woodbury Lister related work. This request is needed owing to new um, CU regulations, um, many new buildings and additions, and especially the complete revalue of the Cahagan property with eight buildings and 2,680 feet of shore frontage. We have made numerous calls to set up appointments with little or no response to date. We have property owners on lakefronts that will not be here until July 4th. We would like to request an extension for completing our work to July 4th, 2019. It is likely that we will need another extension beyond the July 4th date, but we can only get approval for 30 days at a time. This will help to get us along the path to completing required work. How is July 4th from now 30 days? Um, Good When's the actual deadline? It's probably 30 days, probably June 4th, right? No, it's probably the end of July is when they usually try to get it done, and that's well, he's, and that triggers you guys doing your budget for the tax. He's actually rate. saying what Ron said was we would like to request an extension for completing our work. Um, it is likely that we'll, that we'll they'll need another. Ex okay, I see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how they get thirty days from now, but um, <laughs> we should probably just sign it. Just sign it and date it, or if he did it wrong, okay. He'll I'm going to borrow your pen because the only thing I have is a red pen. <laughs> Just right in there, not late for Randy's task. Okay, all right. Oh, yeah, really. Like Hurry Randy up for Randy's Oops. I just, <laughs> I just started to write that, maybe, actually. It's in, the, it's in the fine print. You can't really read it. Good thing there's... I'm going to blow your pen. Good thing there's an N in part of the M, so... Should we date it? This thing dated. You probably better date it. We probably did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Brian, if you could put a date in there for us. Was the date? May, May 13th, 2019. There's no date there, no. Okay, I'll see that this gets worked. I can just put it up there for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so the next thing on our list is um, there's a request from um, the auditors, and um, I have a feeling at this point that it would be skip. Brandy, Susan Martin, and Jane Noel Lorndow um, would all like to attend the VSAT training on, in government accounting and auditing symposium that they'll be having. It's like $60 a pop plus. When is it? Uh, sometime in June. Oh, I saw one. Is that the one on June 5th? Could be, yeah. yeah I don't know the date, actually. It's coming up. But no, fine. Um, do we have to vote on it? Mm. Or just do it? Let's, I mean, works for yeah, me. just do it. Yeah, yeah, let's just do it. Yeah, and we don't have to vote on it. Yeah, they just wanted to. <coughs> usually, they, somebody who's doing this gets permission from the yep. select board, but, yeah. but it's for the town's benefit. So good. So that's that's that, and we've already done the cemetery and town mowing. So um, we're kind of um, we're in the closing stretches here, which is nice. Perfect. It's seven thirty. We're actually ahead of schedule. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Woodbury Fire Station project update. Okay. About three weeks, three and a half weeks ago, we had a meeting. Mm -hmm. We were there for part, part of, of it. Yeah, yeah, so, we meeting. ended up Another meeting to go to. Uh, hiring the architect, or the, the, the committee picked the architect. Mm -hmm. The fire department had to hire them and pay for it. We've raised the money to do the initial planning. So, uh, goodness. What's his name again? I've forgotten. Patrick. Patrick uh, Kane. Kane. Yeah. And there's a fellow he works with out of Callis. So 
they have the ones that were selected by the committee. Um, and so what we've approved the money at our last meeting to move forward with the preliminary design to get to where we could have a vote on to establish how we're going to pay and who's going to pay and all those type of questions. So uh, he's been hired, I think, I don't know what the, there's a meeting coming up, but I didn't hear the date yet. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I guess the, the committee kind of felt like let the fire department guys meet with this guy to go measure and right. kind of mm -hmm. give him our particular things, and then he'll have something in the next hopefully 30 days or less to bring to the, the committee, the committee okay. back to look at it and review. Uh, we did discuss um, um, costs with this because one of the design criteria was designing toward a cost. Mm -hmm. uh, so I said, well, what kind of cost is everyone here comfortable with? And um, the, the numbers that was kind of thrown is somewhere between 750000 and a million dollars that we'd want to stay under that. That was kind of the consensus of the group. Yeah. So that was our marching order. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the committee, just for the public record, yes. um, camera, the committee is made up of um, members of CALIS, a uh, select board member, and some other knowledgeable people, and uh, from Woodbury, a select board member, and um, our uh, Norman Edkin, the resident, who's very knowledgeable. Uh, this Peter Peltz has been involved also. And Robin was there. And Robin Durkee was <coughs> there. So, and actually, Jane Knowles, Knowles has been there before. So we yeah. had different people from Woodbury kind of sitting in on these meetings, too. Yeah. Um, so. And, oh, and just the, also the project we're moving forward with is what was proposed by that study. Right, the village plan ago. study. So uh, the um, proposal would be uh, building a building to house all the fire equipment and dispatch office uh, washing machines in the in Aronson lot. Mm -hmm. And then the and the fire station would be renovated to a meeting room and mm -hmm. kitchen and office space. Mm -hmm. and we would probably retain the annex for storage. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're moving forward with. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the, the that's the what the how what it's going to look like. That's what we're supposed right. to be working on right. now. And then hopefully, in a, hoping I don't know how long he's going to take, but hopefully within a month we'll have a the, the time frame everybody's working in is that we would try to have something to vote on by next spring, that town meeting day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was kind of the time frame that was laid out. So whether we get there or not, will be. Yeah. yeah. So in the future, the trucks will be washed over on the air, on the Harrison property. The Harrison property. Okay. One, yeah. That, that the goal would be to get the fire trucks out of that mm -hmm. building and yeah. all of the tri trucks. So you might end up with the look. You know, thinking this through, the the bolt might be still stored in the annex, and we're yeah. talking about buying a small trailer to. Mm -hmm carry some like brush fire equipment and things we don't need on the trucks on so that might end up over there so that's kind of mm -hmm. yeah. kind of where we're working toward yeah. mm -hmm. and this it, it seems workable mm -hmm. you know, not the most ideal setup but right. it, I think it gets the cost number into where it's believable and manageable mm -hmm. yeah. and it's in the village those are the, kind of the two things right, that, that was, we yeah. marching yeah. orders we were working with that's true yeah. so here we are mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So stay tuned. What that's exactly going to there's some challenges with with zoning. I think we're going to have to deal with mm -hmm. and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. but zoning for setbacks and stuff. Setbacks could be an issue, and lot coverage could be an issue. So those are two things we're identified mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At 250, I think we're still going to get an exemption like we did on the other lot. I just have to, you have to work through the process. Yeah, we've already looked at the septic and all those other things. So pretty mm -hmm. much all that stuff is kind of known quantity. Only thing I don't really know is the zoning. And I talked to uh, Bob Martin about um, we could apply, if, once we know the kind of the guidelines and the committee's happy, he said we could apply for a zoning permit this summer or in the fall and then get to the zoning board of adjustment because we really don't want to move forward if they're not going right. to let us do. We don't know if those are going to be a need. I'm pretty sure lot coverage will, but because mm -hmm. I think the man, maximum lot coverage is 10%. And if we built, a, say, a 5,000 square foot building, they are going to be coverage at 15% or something. But the, and the setbacks might be an issue because Route 14 is 75 feet, not 60. So, I, again, I don't know if that's going to be an issue yet. That's where this design has to mm -hmm. happen. And then we can decide if we can squeeze it out of there or not. Mm -hmm. Ah, tight squeeze. <laughs> well, like all your lots are tiny, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we start going to a much bigger lot, the price goes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Stay tuned is where we're at. Um, and it hasn't been a lot of movement in three weeks, and so we kind of had to wait to get the approval from us at our meeting mm -hmm. for the funding, and then, and then now we've got a meeting, but I don't know what day it is. 
right. it's supposed to coming soon. Yeah. yeah. For the architect. To me, so we can walk through. Walk he through. can measure all the stuff. We've already got a, a digitized site plan mm -hmm. that we paid for for the errands and site. So he can, mm -hmm. the my guy can transfer that to him. But then he's got to measure the existing building so he can do a plan for it. Mm -hmm. We'll give him the space requirements, and then he's got to cram it in there. Yeah. That's his job. Try to make it fit. Huh? Make it fit. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, it'll be tight. Yeah. Good luck, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it'll be a tight squeeze, but mm -hmm. I think it can be managed. Yeah. So um, I was going to try to get a hold of Paul Council to <coughs> get just kind of an update on what happened on Green Up Day, um, but I wasn't able to do that, so... He did come in today and talk to Yeah, he, I know he brought... I saw some. lots of trash disappear. Yeah, yeah, I think it was pretty much the usual... You know, uh, well, I was out on the roads quite a bit, so I don't really wasn't really aware of what was happening at the school. But um, the truck was pretty well filled, and were, we, we collected quite a few roadside tires. Um, Forty-seven. Forty-seven. 47. 47. Wow, yeah. to be exact. That yeah. seemed like a lot. Yeah, there were there were, there weren't any huge drops Miles. of tires, but there were different spots. You know, I think there were like seven along Dog Pond Road and. Um, at the end of Cabot Road, there was a pile of six, so you know, just different smaller yeah. piles like that Chunks. up on Nichols Pond Road. Looks like people plan for it. Yeah. Well, green update, yeah. let's take these. Yeah. Yeah, drop them off. <laughs> That's a good strategy, if you know. <laughs> so, but yeah, so it was a good day. And Elizabeth Stratton um, and the friends of the Woodbury Elementary School, they had a thing for the children, um, like, they, like they've done in the last couple of years. And, yeah. Different parents kind of came and over, went out with the with the kids to to do stuff. Um, so, um, and then next on the list, just with a follow up with the health officer. Um, right at the moment, I am the um, default health you officer. You guy, you. I got an official certificate in the mail <laughs> and, with a book and everything uh, yeah. for three years. But um, Diana did send out a, an ad. Yeah, um, I didn't put it out. Okay, it's just gone out. Um, mm -hmm. Poor health officer. I haven't um, checked in with um, you know neighboring towns to see. Well, I've got a meeting with the Hardwick town manager. Okay. Hopefully, I'll get to call him next this week. But I don't know if I will. Back and talk to him about. Okay, I know Diana the has. They already tried to talk him into it. Yeah. No, no. I was wondering about sharing a health officer oh, with well, Hardwick. Yeah, Richard Rose, who had been an health officer out there for years and years, and Sean is now the assistant health officer. Yeah, so I'm just going to talk to him can't, and see if... Can't hurt to bring it up. Yeah, yeah, you know, he lives in town, maybe there while in the work. It might be our best approach. Yeah. Because you, right? you don't really love the job. Well, I don't, I mean, I don't know anything about <laughs> it. I don't want the job, I can assure <laughs> you. I, I have don't plenty like of it. other things to do. he would at least be a resource. Now, I'm going to talk to him. When I talk to him, i got another thing, the project for them, but I was going to raise that issue with him and say, hey, yeah. Uh, yeah. So would this be a consideration? If so, what would it look like? And if I get anything, I'll bring it back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'll, I'll contact the, either the Calus Select Board Chair um, or the town clerk and see if, if that's a possibility. Um, just haven't done that yet. Um, and I'll... Maybe the, the booklet that they send will be my uh, bedtime reading. <laughs> we'll see. But I think, you know, if, if something came up, I think we could count on um, Sean and your yeah. experience to at least get us get us through the yeah. whatever yeah. needs yeah, to be Yeah, because we are a board of health as a group. So right. you're stuck with it anyway. Yeah. You're stuck anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that's pretty much it on my list. Um, anything else that... Next meeting... Please. Yes, thank you. That should have been on my list. Um, that's Memorial Day. Oh, well, so I mean, what do we want to do about that? Um, we could let's pick an alternative date. Thank you, Laura. That one wasn't my thinking different times. That Wednesday? I could meet on Wednesday that week. So that would be the 20, 29th. 29th. Does that work for you, Brian? Yeah, 29th. Okay. Of call it now or forever be quiet. Let's, let's, um, let's call it May 29th. Thank you for Let's bringing see. that up. I would have been yeah. a cranky boy. Let's yeah. see. Am I? I'm not working in Burlington. Uh, what are they? Okay. Oh, I think I'm good too. Think you're good there. Oh, my schedule's filling up really fast for May and June. If I was working in Burlington. I could get here just in time, but I'd rather not. 
we'll call in Burlington and get here just in time for stuck for me. Yeah, race home for this. Yeah. Yeah. I had a, one more thing to mention. I have had a call, and I don't think she's been able to follow up because the woman who called couldn't um, uh, work on Monday nights. Oh, okay. But uh, she lives at the end of Ainsworth Road, and she was oh, complaining about, about that off of that house that's been sort oh, of abandoned. Yep. She complained about the and house or the trees in the road. The house. Oh, did you get in a fact, the trees are the trees were being cleaned up today. Cleaned oh, up today. I got a yeah. call on the tree that fell into the road. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned, but that's be okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no Anyways, I just wondered whether maybe the dangerous buildings officer could uh, take a look. It is take a look at that because it is a yeah, mess and there's the garbage there from years ago and. <laughs> And we, you said that we still have that ordinance in place, ordinance. and we yeah. still have a dangerous building officer. So, mm -hmm. if it's not really a health, a health officer thing, maybe mm -hmm. it could be a dangerous buildings, and maybe a letter from the town to that bank that is diddling around with foreclosing could Which takes forever. have yeah. some, yeah, mm -hmm. maybe. Uh, so it's not owned mm -hmm. by the bank, yeah. I don't know. No. It's been years since it's been abandoned. So, yeah. mm -hmm. do we have a contact person? Do the listers have a? We have a, a place where we send the mail, the, the tax bill. Okay, that's yeah. it. And is that to a bank or to a, a person or? A uh, it's a bank, bank or a mortgage, some kind of a company. And they pay the taxes. Right. Here. Yeah. Okay. And they're moving slowly through the the uh, enforcement process. Oh, really? So they're I mean, to the foreclosure process. Before, it takes forever. Yeah. It does. It takes forever. And then they'll have a, finally they'll have an auction and nobody will pay their price. And, and then they'll sale. list it. And yeah, it's. They probably won't go to tax sale, but eventually no, someone won't. will call yeah. and they'll just buy it from the bank somehow. For it's not even know. worth buying it. It's not. Because you're going to have to pay to haul the building away. Right. I mean, we could have Kim, Kim look at it, but you know, and looking at the building, it doesn't look. I mean, the garage roof is caved in, but that's mm -hmm. because the tree fell on it. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's the response. Cut the trees. But maybe that's the response we want to have. We've got a complaint. We should have our right. building officer look at it and send yep. us a letter, and mm -hmm. we can send it to the bank. And mm -hmm. yeah, we've done what we're supposed to do. I mean, if <clears throat> there's not going to be anyone to complain and say this is not dangerous because nobody right. cares. Right. <laughs> There's nobody nearby that right. they would fall on. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but a letter, just think about you know, a letter might help. Mm -hmm. I guess it's doing something about it anyway. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. so, do you think it would be best to have Kim look at it and, and just write up a report, and then the select board could send a letter along with the report? Do you think that would be the way to go on um, that? Or? I think it would be good to have Kim look at it yeah. first and then to decide whether or not to have some kind of order written. I don't know if he's ever done that in the past. Or That's if probably what we should do is just have Kim look at it. And yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to all the time it works? Fire department would be a good place to burn something. We can't burn buildings, it's very difficult. Really? Yeah. yeah, sure, if you want to call yeah. Kim, okay, I'll thank you for doing that. Yeah, it's very tough to do it. now. Okay. About 90% of it, we just tell them it's not. Wow. Because you've got to remove all the siding, all the carpets, all the roofing, all, oh, anything the, that might be all toxic. that paint. You've got to do asbestos testing, any trash, and you've got to come out. So by the time someone's done all that, they're saying, well, there ain't much left, about it. just pay the other 10 grand and get it thrown out. <laughs> We're going to be running that if we help me end up tearing our building down as you see like it's burning we can't really do it can't do it yeah. well it's, it's a it's a long price not a simple process mm -hmm. yeah. and you gotta have a bona fide training session afterwards well, out yeah. behind joel Sargent's. oh i've seen it huge um, brush pile yep, with a I'm bunch aware. of trash in there yep it's been photographed he okay. hasn't if he burns it i will call the anr on him and mm -hmm. um, ronnie lange have been told me about okay. it so yeah. i'm aware of it mm -hmm. and i took some pictures of it so if it goes it's it goes know. up, yeah. I see it today. And There's a lot of times we have our ordinance, but the bigger the bigger hammer is if I call air quality on them, right? Which I will do. Mm -hmm. yeah. somebody out because I just talked to Bernard Earl and Wolcott, and he just got a huge fine from a guy. It was a fifteen thousand dollar fine from the guy that burned his house. He put the he's got a permit to burn a brush pile, and he piled it on the porch and. 
lit the house on fire. Oh my God! Burnt the house down and then said it was an accident. And the state said, "Okay, no oh, problem. About that. Here's your fine, ten thousand or whatever." <laughs> So that's what I plan to do too when I get, I, don't, I am not really pushing the minor little, yeah. but that's an egregious violation. I would definitely go after it. Yeah. Yeah. And the state has much better enforcement. They have, yeah. I mean, we have really yeah. nothing. Yeah. We've got a yeah. ticket process, but it's pretty cumbersome. So. Yeah. And if they ignore the ticket, what do we do next? Yeah. Yeah. We don't go out and put out fires? We do, fire but the last one turned kind of... They've, they've gotten kind of violent as some of these folks where it's like you, you're, I'm going to have to carry a gun and I don't really want to have to do that. And mm -hmm. The last one we went to was up at our Bliss Road mm -hmm. scene. Oh. They were the folks from across the street were hauling trash up there and burning it. Mm -hmm. it got a little hairy up mm -hmm. there that day. Mm -hmm. and the state police didn't come. And no. So having yeah. guys be careful because they've gotten down in behind Caton's before where it came real close to turning mm -hmm. violent. Yeah, I remember that incident. Yeah, and we're not really armed, nor do I really want. No, you shouldn't. If guys are concealed carry, that's their business. But it's like I, the fire department. I mean, not. No. I'm just advocating if there's tension that you need to just leave and call state police, and if they don't yeah. come, there's nothing we can do except mm -hmm. like, document it. And mm -hmm. I don't want to see anybody getting shot over a pile of crap burning. Mm -hmm. That's what it's escalated to yeah. in some areas. The last couple have been a little, a little stressful. So, um, if there's nothing else, I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Done. Okay.